Hi guys and welcome to the Estradog test bench. Today what we're doing is we're going to have a look at the Kaesong EQ4 mount and we're also going to have a little look at the uh, Saxon EQ3 mount which is also the same one as a Skywatcher or you might even know it as a Celestron CG4. So we're just going to start with this one. It is a new mount from Kaesong. It's a premium uh, medium duty mount manual. Um, and we'll go from there. So first of all, I might start with the tripod itself. This here is um, the standard tripod that Kason used for their very heavy mounts. It has a load capacity of about 20 kilograms, um, so it's very strong. Um, it uses a, a drop-in system for the tripod, um, which is really simple. What you do uh, to make that work is you just drop it into the three sides that we have here, and then you simply tighten, tighten the ends up. And that will then give the, the mount the stability uh, that you're looking for. Um, despite being the steel tubular legs, uh, it's actually quite light. The legs themselves, they only weigh 3.9 kilograms. So they're very good to use for grab and go when you have a bit of stability. To give, it, you give you a bit of an idea of the difference, if you're going with the, uh, the center steel legs, you're talking a weight of, let me see, 6.6 .6 kilograms. So you've got about three kilos uh, difference versus uh, lugging this one versus lugging this one. Um, moving back to the uh, to this one, when you're actually on site setting up, you're going to be able to use the large bubble. Um, the the Saxon equivalent. Let's have a bit of a look. The one that you're going to need to use isn't on the tripod. It's actually on the device itself. And I'll give you a look at the level that we use on on here. So you'll find the level here. I'll just compare the two. I'm not sure if you can see it there. There's your little level on the um, on the center version, uh, and here's the larger one on the case on. So it's certainly going to be a lot easier to get your um, get your leveling done because you'll just be able to see it a bit better in the dark, I guess. Um, try not to set up before dark. Um, so just moving up now. Um, on this particular mount, the caisson equivalent, we've got large knobs which you use to dial in your latitude. You only do it once. We're just going to spin it around. You only set the uh, latitude once to where you are and you tighten it up and then you secure the bolt. And then this one here locks that in. So you're not just using these but you're also locking in the exact degree of where you want it. If you need to adjust it, you loosen it and you can just fine tune it there before you're locking it in. And that's the way that that one works. If you're saying, boy, that looks a bit wider than what we're used to, you're right. It's actually 110 uh, millimeters across. The equivalent on the EQ3 uh, is only 100. So you've got about 10% extra. Um, the rotation is done here. Um, and what you need to do, I would recommend when you get your mount, just add a little huh, tiny fingertip full of something like the um, MX6 Inox um, uh, high grade um, grease. Uh, you can also use something called Super Lube. Um, we prefer the Inox, it's just a little bit better and that will just give you smooth motion um, for, for when you're setting up. Moving up here we do have um, some ability here to add the uh, Polar Mountain if you want that. Here in the Southern Hemisphere why would you bother? It's so difficult to find Sigma Octanus and trying to work it all out but it does come with that if you prefer. Uh, if you want to use that. Um, we have shaped knobs. Now you might think, who cares? Um, I love them. The reason is, is because you don't know which way to tighten and loosen necessarily on the EQ. I'll give you a look because both of them are exactly the same. So when you've got it differentiated as a loop, you actually do know in what direction to tighten it. It's just completely obvious when you're fumbling around in the dark. We do love that. Um, if you're noticing when you're adjusting the amount uh, hey, we, we, it's not immediately moving as soon as we're moving. There's a bit of a slack there. The reason is because you need to tighten these up. Okay, um, the, when you get the Saxon ones, they're never quite right. Um, sometimes the grease isn't applied evenly inside. Um, you've got a couple of other little things. So you just need to tighten these up so that it is, is the way that you want it and the way that it's comfortable. It's not too much different with the caisson. You can adjust the tension on um, the slow motion controls by adjusting uh, these here. What do you use for it? You just use your just use your regular uh, hex uh, adjuster in there. That just goes in and you just tighten it as per what you need. 
Um, so moving on, moving upwards now, uh, around here, these uh, are your, uh, these are your setting circles. On the caisson model, they are about 20% larger than on your Saxon. So with setting circles, if you intend to use them, you really do want large ones. Small ones are next to no good. So this is 20% larger. They are going to be easier to use. Um, so if you do want to use setting circles, um, the caisson does offer an advantage. Um, for those of you that are new to uh, mounts and you're not sure what setting circles are yet, what they do is once you've aligned it, and this is the thing, once you've aligned it to the Southern Celestial Pole, you can use those setting circles to know exactly where to um, adjust to. So most star charts, they come with um, where an object is that you're looking at. So you'll be able to go, aha, I need to move it to here, and then I need to move this top one up so that it's positioned where I want it. There's the second setting circle, and then you'll be able to find objects uh, that you're looking for even without go to or without further tools. They're just setting circles are wonderful, but they've got to be big enough to actually be practical. And of course, you're going to need to wear a headlamp or something just to see in the dark so that you can find it. There's no setting circles if they're not lit up, they're not going to be of any help to you whatsoever. So, moving on now, we come to the top for this part to show it off properly. I'm actually just going to take this off and we'll remove it. So there's the mount. We'll just move to the test bench now and we'll just have a look at uh, the way it works. What we want to have a look at is we want to compare the saddles of the two and you'll immediately see the difference once I do this. All right, so here we have two saddles and can you tell that this one here is actually the case one is a double saddle. Um, you've got two large screw knobs that you can use to tighten in your Vixen plate adapter. Um, on the other one here, you've got uh, only one screw and a bit of a safety. So by far, this will hold it uh, a bit more securely. Also, the length is better suited uh, for larger scopes. Um, now, just for reference, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a bit of a look at exactly how long this is. So we're talking facts here. So we have about 110 millimeters uh, that will hold 110 mils of your Vixen bar. Let's just compare that with your with your center. Let's see how we go. All right. So on here, you've got a 90 grip with a single. So you can see what I mean. You can see why they've called it an EQ4. It's not just an EQ3. Um, the other thing we want to talk about is the um, construction of the materials between these two uh, mounts that we have here. This is made of uh, metal, uh, I'd say steel. Um, it's great. Look, we love the Saxon mount. We've got these as well. But with these ones, even though it's a larger mount, they weigh the same. They weigh only 3.6 kilos each. Now, how do they get away with it? How is it possible for this mount to be larger, double saddle, and then to have the same weight? Well, the secret is this bit here. That is actually not metal. Now you're thinking, oh, that's plastic. And honestly, that's what we thought. Um, I called up uh, and had some bigger changes with Kason to talk about this. And I was shocked when I found out that this is actually nylon with 35% fiberglass component in it. This stuff is extremely strong. It's not uh, just your, what, what it looks like. It's not just a little plastic one. Uh, in fact, if you're here in Australia, um, these are great as well because uh, of your UV. They're not going to deteriorate even with daily sunlight um, just because of the material that it's made of. So we love that about the caisson mount. Um, it's just such a winner. We're, just, we were, we're blown away um, by how good they've been able to, to make them. Um, so we're very pleased. Let's just have a look at the slow motion controls for the two as well, so that we've got. Now at the moment, um, these are the ones that they're supplying with the caisson. Uh, you have a nice handle um, that you can use, so they're quite convenient. This here again is made of nylon, so they're very strong. And you can tighten them up and attach them to your mount just with the regular 
um, just with your fingers you can just tighten it up and away you go on the other hand when you're looking at the Saxon you're going to need a screwdriver so you need to take a tool along um, in order to tighten that up so we hope that's given you a little bit of an overview of these two mounts that we've got um, and what you can expect out of them we think uh, you're gonna love it one last thing we should just mention is our price and the tripod um, we might have a look here at this tripod again. This is the standard tubular steel one that comes with the caisson model. When you get your EQ3 uh, as standard uh, from the center one, you won't get this one. You will get an aluminium one. Uh, the aluminium one um, is not as, uh, as heavy as this one and it's also not quite as strong. So you just need to be aware of that. Price-wise, the caisson with the steel will set you back about 549 at the moment. Um, the equivalent uh, EQ3 with um, the aluminium is $569 and it goes up to $769 if you want this steel mount with it. So for us, I mean, it's no question, I think, which one is going to give you better value for money. And as I said, we've been really, really pleasantly uh, surprised by the construction of the case on. So I hope that gives you some insight into watching. Um, please uh, leave any comments if you've got questions um, or just reach out to us. Uh, it's 1300 Astro Dog or you can check out our website www.astrodog.com.au. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure to make this video and we hope that this is going to help you. All the best. Thank you.